Hello, Dr. J here. I just started the circuit construction kit from the website FET, P H E T, dot Colorado dot edu. It's the same simulation program that we used earlier and in earlier videos as well. So, what we're going to do in this demonstration is to measure the voltage across a battery and understand the concept of a reference point or ground. So here I just grabbed the battery, dragged it here, and I'm going to click here so that the voltmeter will appear. Notice we have two prongs. The black will be used as a reference point and the red is where we measure the voltage of a particular uh, across a particular device. So in this case we're going to measure the voltage across a battery. So what we'll do here is use this as a reference point of zero and first we'll look at the battery see what the actual value is see what the value of this and we see it's nine volts it's an ideal battery so it has zero ohms so it doesn't dissipate any heat and we're going to take the other prong and put it on the positive terminal again we see that it's nine volts again this point right here is the negative polarity of a battery which has a lot of electrons and let me get rid of the uh, electrons just just to reduce the clutter okay and this side of the battery or the positive polarity is a deficiency of electrons so there's a potential difference here between these two points of a battery so that we can do work when we hook it up to a circuit so it creates an electric field in the circuit so electrons will get attracted to the positive side of the battery terminal alright so let's just change the value of this battery we'll change it to 18 volts and we see that the voltmeter or digital multimeter reads 18 volts. Now let's change the reference point. Let's put the reference point on the positive side. We see that it's now connected in here and what do we expect to see? Well we should read here negative 18 volts. Alright? When it's negative 18 volts that this means that this point where this is a reference point is uh, 18 volts below this point. Now you can think of this as like negative, let's in terms of feet, let's say it's negative 18 feet, let's say it's negative 18 feet below sea level. And if I change the reference point here, we could say that it's 18 feet above sea level. So the reference point to measure voltage must be chosen so we can measure the voltage across a device. Similarly, with height, we require two points and we need a reference point in order to measure height as well. Let's change this value back to 9 volts. And we see that it does read 19, 9 volts. Okay, let's add another battery connected in series. When we connect a battery in series, it's just like when you put a battery in a flashlight, we put it back to back. So the one battery has a negative uh, terminal, is connected to the positive side of another battery as shown here. So we're going to choose this bottom of this second battery at the bottom, and we should read 9 volts in the middle right here, and 18 volts as well right here okay so 18 volts at this point 9 volts at this point and 0 at this point okay let's take a look at a wire a wire has zero resistance so it won't have won't dissipate heat but it has zero volts all right so when it has zero volts, the same potential at this point and this point. Hopefully this demonstration gives you an idea of how to measure voltage.